I'm Kirsty Meekin from Nail Nails. In this video, I'm going to show you a really simple design using chrome with matte droplets. Can I just say, this design was created by cameraman Adam. <laughs> <laughs> So I've already got a nail extension. This is a nail that we did for a previous video. And what I'm gonna do is apply black urban graffiti gel polish in the number A0002. Blacker than black. It's only a little finger, so you have to be quite careful. Take your time, have patience. This is the only thing I have patience with in my life. So that's one coat. Can we just can we just talk about how black that is with one coat? It's like that material, you know, the that blackest material ever. That's like the blackest nail I have ever seen. I think we can do this with one coat. I'm not even going to put another coat on. I'm going to put it to the test. So I'm going to apply um, the Urban Graffiti Top Coat now. Let me just tell you, this design was Adam's design. <laughs> oh, don't blame me for this. We've never done this before, but I explained a design to Adam and Adam's interpretation of my explanation, which clearly wasn't very good, was this design. And I went, no, that's not what I mean. However, that'd be pretty cool. Let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> so basically this is the most confused design ever. Yeah, yeah. pop that in. Now I'm gonna take the mirror chrome and rub that in. all over the nail. I'm just going to rub over with a lint-free wipe. That's going to burnish the powder in even more and get rid of any loose powder. I've never heard that term before. Burnish. Burnish. I'm going to do a second coat of the chrome. So same routine, you've got the Urban Graffiti gel top coat. So same again, rubbing the chrome powder in. We've gone burnish that in, burnish, burnish, burnish. I think I was American in a former life. One of the Salem witches. One of the what? Salem witches. What, like, I'll get you my pretty <laughs> and your little dog too. <laughs> Not one of them ones. <laughs> so I'm applying the Urban Graffiti Top Coat to seal in the chrome. You need to make sure that you cap the edges if you don't something will get in between it and start to break down the product. You have to seal it so the layers do not separate. Can I just remind you all that this is Adam's design? <laughs> so if it goes wrong? <laughs> it's not my fault. It's Adam's fault if this doesn't work. I don't know if it will. We toyed with the idea of doing a darker chrome or a lighter chrome, but we ended up with a lighter chrome. Hang on, can I just say that you were the one to with that <laughs> idea? I just kind You of... never said what chrome we were using. <laughs> Matte top coat. Okay. We're going to put a little bit on here. So, with the dotting tool, we're going to add droplets. I'm going to flash cure some of the droplets first. Just flash me down. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to wipe off the sticky layer, hopefully, hopefully, revealing matte droplets. Oh. Do you know what? I won't do like some swirly whirly ones now. Mm. I'm going to pop some cuticle oil on now. This is the coconut cuticle oil. So there we are. We have a chrome nail with some matte droplets. I think we need to do a little bit more with that and do some swirls and all kind of things. Maybe like butterfly. Mm. Oh, leopard print and zebra print. There you are. Hope you've enjoyed this video of Adam's <laughs> design. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video as much as I have. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. All the products we've used today are in the description box below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. What does burnish mean? Burnish means to polish, polish something, especially there you go. by rubbing. How clever are you? No, I'm not. I've heard it somewhere else. Most of <laughs> Scott always says to me, I make up words I do when I'm talking, and he'll go, What's that? And he'll go, That's why I love you because you just stick and make up your words. <laughs>